Hey everyone, it's Chelsea here, bringing you another segment of Living in Southwest Florida. If you're thinking of moving to Fort Myers, Cape Coral, or any of the surrounding areas, then you're probably wondering how much it really costs to live here in Southwest Florida so you can figure out whether or not you can afford it. So today we're going to explore the cost of living here in Paradise. But before we jump in really quickly, it would mean a lot to me if you could go ahead and hit that like button so the YouTube algorithms share this information with others and it lets me know what you'd like more of. As a thank you, here are some video of burrowing owls. If you've watched other videos, you may have heard me discuss my love for these little guys, and I am just so glad to see them returning to the area. And really quickly, I wouldn't be good at my job if I didn't remind you how much we love helping people from all over the country buy and sell their homes here in Southwest Florida. So if you or anyone you know of are even thinking about moving, then feel free to use that contact information below. All right, let's jump right in. researching for this video, honestly, I found cost of living calculators very different than what I'm seeing out there right now. And I'm saying right now because I know these numbers will shift over time. I'm not sure when the cost of living calculators pulled their data, but for context, I'm recording this video in late March of 2023. So I decided to drive around and get some average costs for people to compare against. Now, first off, let's look at the cost of housing since it's pretty important to know where you're going to live and it's the focus of this channel. According to our local stats, this February's median price to buy a home in Lee County was $395,000. This is a little higher for single family homes versus condos, of course. For a condo, the median price is $340,000, and for a single family home in Lee County, the median price is $416,500. According to the Federal Reserve, in the most recent statistics, which is Q4 of 2022, the median price of a home nationwide is 467,700, so we are still well below national costs. If you aren't quite ready to purchase your own home, but you are wanting to still move to the area, then you're probably going to be looking for rentals. The median price of a rental in February was $2,400 a month. Now I'm going to qualify this by saying that this stat I'm pulling from the local MLS rentals and majority of rentals in the area do their own managing so they aren't gonna be found on the MLS. Instead, I also found a stat from Rent Cafe that says average rent is just shy of 2,000 a month and that sounds like it may be more accurate as a whole. Sure, if you're looking for a house or a house with a pool, then that's gonna be more than say an apartment or privately owned duplex. But according to Rent Cafe, 84% of rentals in the area will be more than $1,500 a month, so I would come in with that expectation. Let's talk about utilities for these homes. According to several of the sites, utilities can range between $130 to $350 a month. For our home, we were around $175 a year ago, but LCEC did do a price change around last summer, and it's now running closer to an average of $400. For context, our home is fairly average in size, but we do have a pool which will add extra cost. Homes with newer air conditioning systems or solar panels will find this number substantially reduced. I do wanna say though that if you're planning to do solar, please research this thoroughly. We often see people get panels that they don't need for their usage or they'll put them on an older roof which can be problematic when it's time to replace the roof. Also, verify that the insurability of the panels with your insurance carrier, as that is usually an extra cost. For water costs, homeowners will usually find themselves on either a well and septic or on the city water and sewer. Cape Coral, for example, is only halfway on the city water and sewer, and then the northern parts are going to be well and septic systems until the utility expansion project makes its way up there. Take into consideration then that in those areas, while these services are still being built out, once the city is ready to work on the city grid, there will be a special assessment to cover these bills. When house hunting, be sure to look at a home's water and sewer status and see if assessments are paid off or they could be added to the tax bill or on their way in the future. If you are connected to the city grid, expect to pay somewhere between $100 and $200 a month for your water bill. If you aren't, plan on spending about 40 or so on water system salts and a couple hundred every year or so to clean out your septic tank. Most of this metro area does not have natural gas utilities, so majority of homeowners will not have this extra cost. An exemption to this is going to be Babcock Ranch, and there are some parts in southern Fort Myers that will have gas. 
Let's go back though and look at those insurance carriers. According to Policy Genius, the average homeowner's policy is $22.88 a year. This number has a lot of variance depending on the home. New construction homes will be less. Homeowner's insurance, wood frame homes or ones with older roofs, et cetera, will be on the higher end. Anecdotally, I would say that I often see quotes ranging from around $1,800 to 3,500, and the median I often see would fall somewhere around 2,500 a year. Beyond homeowner's insurance, let's talk about transportation costs. Around town, gas is gonna cost you anywhere between $3.28 to $3.50 a gallon. Mostly I'm seeing on that lower end right now at about $3.30 to $3.35. For us, we were surprised our car insurance raised a little when we moved back home, but it was pretty nominal. I think we raised about $50 a year from the major city we had been living in previously. What are some other costs you can expect? Well, let's compare some of the grocery items. I went to four different stores to compare costs. Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, and Aldi's. For these four stores, I found a list of commonly purchased items and I compared those costs. This way you can take it against your own food bill and figure out where your city lays in against it. For a dozen large eggs, a gallon of 2% milk, a loaf of white sliced bread, a pound of strawberries, a single green bell pepper, and a pack of chicken breasts. Here's the range of costs for those items that you can compare to what you're paying in your own grocery store. For those of you moving with small children, childcare can be something that gets pretty expensive. Most people I've talked to pay anywhere between 130 a week to 300 a week for childcare. For children who are four years old on September 1st, the state offers free voluntary pre-kindergarten, which is three hours a day of a pre-K program. In our case, my youngest is currently in VPK and we pay an additional 135 a week for wraparound care so that he attends full time. For those who are looking for private schools, the average tuition is just shy of $10,000. Lastly, let's talk taxes. Sales tax here is 6%. We do not have a state income tax, so our full-time residents can expect a little break when it comes to paying Uncle Sam. In regards to property taxes, these can vary widely, whether or not you're in city or unincorporated, and so we should look at those on a case-by-case -case basis. I hope that this was useful for you. If you have any questions about the data or if you'd like to drill down and compare those specific neighborhoods, like say Cape Coral versus Fort Myers or waterfront homes or pool homes or whatever your specific circumstances call for, then feel free to reach out to contact information in the description below. Myself and the network of agents I have throughout the United States are here and ready to help you with your move. My video schedule can sometimes be erratic, so if you like videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we drop another one. If you are ready to get that ball rolling on your move to Southwest Florida, then there's a link in the description below to set up a personalized home search that'll be tailored to you. Oftentimes when we search web aggregates, it limits our capabilities, but when I build out the search, you're gonna have many more options available, and then we can really begin to have a conversation about what your home in Florida will look like. Or feel free to use Cape Coral Fort Myers Real Estate.com for all the latest listings to hit the market and begin getting comfortable with our marketplace. No obligations. And don't forget to add me on social media and follow along as we post weekly articles and information that you may find handy and give you insight as to what life in Florida looks like. As always, we really appreciate it when you leave us a comment and hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bells so that you can be notified when we drop future videos that may help you with living in Southwest Florida. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I wish you much health and happiness.